G'day, it's Doug Jackson from Doug'sWorkClock.com. Uh, this video is intended to show you how to install the um, LEDs into the light welds of our 30cm uh, word clock kits. I'll just put the camera where it's supposed to be. Okay, so firstly, um, you will have made the frame that you uh, needed for your uh, project. Now, the frame itself, as you're aware, is, um, is, um, comes to you pre-drilled pre with all of the holes for all of the wiring. Um, there are four holes for mounting the controller and all of the rest of the holes are for ac actually wiring the uh, clock. Now, you will have also received um, a strip of um, LED lighting material. Now, we um, we have used a number of different suppliers' materials over the years. One of the one of the tricky things with um, Chinese manufacturers of this this particular LED strip is that um, the quality can be extraordinarily variable. Uh, sometimes you'll find LEDs that um, last literally for weeks. Other other times the LEDs will last years and years and years and years and years. And years. Um, in our particular case, we actually have a very, very good supplier, and he um, he he supplies um, LED material that just um, we've had no failures with the uh, batch that we've been using for the last uh, two years. Now, keep that in mind when you buy. If you go to make one of these yourself, uh, purchasing material from um, eBay. I can, I can absolutely basically guarantee you that if you buy uh, a five meter long roll of this and you pay uh, ten dollars um, you're going to be extraordinarily disappointed given time so um, make sure that your LED strip material is actually high quality. Now of course the material that we uh, provide is uh, great. Now when you're mounting the LED strips there are some things you need, need to be aware of. You don't want to touch the adhesive um, with your fingers. Once you remove the protective tape you have to avoid touching the adhesive. Second is if you install the LEDs so that the uh, first so that they're in line with the various holes the LEDs will automatically be in the correct position for a black clock. So it's just for one of our 30 centimeter clocks. So let's start. So here we go our first one We'll have one LED. I use a small knife to help me remove it. There we go. Off it comes. And try and orient them so that the plus of the LED strip is always at the top. So in this case, it was a little bit tricky to see, but we've placed this with the edge of the LED strip near the mounting hole. Give it a gentle push and then it's fine. Um, when we're making these in bulk, which we do every weekend, and by the way it's a Saturday, so today is a workshop day, um, we generally um, remove a few LEDs worth. So again the second one will go there. Again being careful not to touch the adhesive, so just holding it by its edge. And yes, I'm fully aware that it just touched my thumb. As I said, we try. Here we go. That's that one. This next strip, if we just do a quick measure, we can fit three of these links in. Uh, this LED strip material, by the way, has cut lines on it. There's a cut line, there's a cut line, there's a cut line. You never ever ever cut it in the middle, you only ever cut it at one of those, those cut lines. We try very hard to align the LED in the centre of the light well, so that the light uh, streams out uniformly. Thank you. 
one of my customers e e emailed me a couple of weeks ago and said, "Hey Doug, you should mount 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 a camera on the uh, wall and do and do a time lapse of your building a clock." And I thought that'd be pretty cool. And so I have 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 to figure out how to automatically um, trigger the shutter once every probably once one once every thirty seconds would be tons. But that, that's one of the many, many, many projects that we've got floating around. Okay, so carry on. Again, I accidentally touched the strip. It's not a particularly serious issue. We just try and avoid it. Sometimes the wells are very, very, very small. This is an example. So here the well was. Um, that's for the word two. So it is entirely okay to run the edge of a word up the uh, strip, the edge of a strip up the edge of the well. So for example, if we have a look at that word there. I ran it up that edge, I ran it up that edge. The important thing is to always start the word at one of the, um, at one of the holes. Now, of course, our chaos clocks you make in exactly the same way. There's no difference at all. You've just got to be careful to uh, start the LED strips at a hole. We have our cut files for making these are actually pretty good. Um, we do have them set up so that you've got um, beautifully, beautifully re reliable outcomes. Um, the components that we supply in a kit are the components that we make our, our clocks from. There's one exception to that, and that is uh, we're in the process of transitioning this particular design, the uh, design for the normal 30 centimeter clock, which is our most popular clock, from being something which requires a lot of hand wiring to something which uses surface mount technology. So I'll show you one of those be before I hit the stop button on the um, recording. Um, there's still a little bit of development work uh, required, but we've got great big boards. We're essentially going to be making them the same, same way as we make our desk clocks, um, which I'm extremely excited about because our desk clocks are all beautiful surface mount components. Um, we can make them easily. Um, the the ob quite ob obvious quality of what we've made is increased with the de desk clocks too. So once once we deploy that kind of technology to, you may not be able to see that. Sorry. Once we deploy that kind of te technology through to um, the, the 30 centimeter clocks, then that'll be extraordinarily exciting. Still a few month, months away though, as is always, when when you're running running a uh, business trying hard to manufacture things if you don't have have a dedicated R&D department and believe me Doug's word clock you're talking to Doug he's the CEO he's the janitor and he's the R&D department I, I, I am helped of course by people like Lindsay and Kyle uh, Bridget um, Catherine my daughter Sean who, who loves to help make, make make clocks with me um, who else do I have on? Oh, and of course my, my lovely be beautiful wife Megan who is insanely patient. She helps with the admin and make, making sure that everyone gets uh, paid at the correct time. So that's wonderful. But when you're the uh, R&D department, um, it's a little bit, um, a little bit tricky. But that's okay. So there we go. So you can see that we've been very careful to um, gently press the uh, LEDs down. Now again, there's a reason why these things take weeks and weeks and weeks to make. 
is because I personally now leave this frame for a good week before I, I um, touch it further because it's really really important that the adhesive on the LED strips has bonded correctly to the um, acrylic. So I'll hold it at that angle so that you can see there. It's gone up a little bit on those edges, that's totally okay. The important thing is that we're all nice and flat with our edge and each of our words started at one of those um, holes. There is a tiny exception to that, and that is this particular cell here where I've put the join at the hole there and in fact covered one of the holes. So I've got four holes left over, which is for the um, one, two, three, four, which will be for the uh, mounting the uh, controller. So this frame can now go and sit and wait for a good week and then I'll do the uh, wiring. Now just so that you know, here is a frame that I've made earlier. This is in fact a frame for Rowena in the United Kingdom. Um, so you can see that there's a whole pile of hand wiring required. I was going to show you the new board. Hold on for one second. Okie dokie. Now, those of you who have been um, keeping an eye on what Doug's word clock has been doing for a while will be aware that uh, we do have a small desk clock. Uh, the desk clock uses these, these beautiful, beautiful laser cut faces. That's the back, that's the front with some pr protective material over it. Um, they have a single uh, board to actually make them and they're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces of work. Um, I've taken exactly the same concept that we've done with our uh, desk clock and I've created a 30 centimeter work clock or a 300 millimeter work clock. This is prototype number one. You can see that yes, there's an engineering fault on it which is why we build prototypes. It's um, this has larger LEDs than other normal clocks and it's beautifully, beautifully bright when it runs and you can see that it's a frame. So the place where we're moving to is instead of all of this hand wiring and mounting LED strips, we'll have um, a frame, we'll get our wonderful clock board, we'll mount the clock, clock board in there, of course the buttons will stick out, it'll have power through the back, and it'll be beautiful. A little bit more engineering effort required, but um, so what will happen, we're not going, we're not going to be able to uh, provide these as as kits unfortunately. Um, all of these these service mount components require dedicated soldering equipment, um, um, good quality uh, screen printing facilities. We actually have screen printing facilities so that we can screen print the um, sold paste on. So we're not going to be able to provide this as a kit. We will continue to provide these as our kits. These make awesome, awesome kits for um, any of you who happen to be a little bit uh, geeky. Excellent gifts for 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 rather uh, geek in the family or, or rather geek in your life. So there we go, that's a little bit about how we do um, the LED mounting and a little bit of a hint as to where we're going to go. There we go. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching. YouTube is an amazing medium isn't it? And um, Keep an eye out for the next uh, video. I might bore you with some wiring, but hopefully you're able to figure, f figure the wiring out uh, yourself. Take care. Bye.